Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever started a Java project and felt overwhelmed with setting up dependencies, managing builds, or figuring out how to organize your folders, you are not alone. That's exactly where a tool like Maven comes in. In this video, I'm going to explain what Maven is, why developers use it, and how it fits into your day-to-day -day workflow when building Java applications. Let's get started. First, let's see what problem Maven solves. Imagine you are starting a new Java project. You write a few classes, maybe a main method, and now you want to add a third-party library. Let's say a logging library like log4, j, or a json parser like Jackson. Now the question is, where do you get the library? Where do you place the jar file? What if it needs other jar files to work? What if you are working in a team and everyone's downloading different versions manually? Without a build tool, everything becomes messy really fast. That's the problem Maven solves. It helps you manage your project's build process, dependencies, plugins, testing, packaging, all in a consistent, repeatable way. So what is Maven really? Maven is a build automation tool for Java, but it's more than just building code. It follows a concept called the Project Object Model, or POM for short. Every Maven project has a POM.xml file that sits at the root of the project. This file describes your project, its name, version, dependencies, how it should be compiled, tested, packaged, and even deployed. When you tell Maven to build your project, it reads the POM.xml xml pulls down the required dependencies from a central repository on the internet compiles your code runs your unit tests and packages everything into a jar or war file all with a single command it saves developers from managing libraries by hand and makes your project environment consistent across every machine let's go back to a real world example you are working on a spring boot project you open your terminal and type mvn clean install instantly Maven cleans up any old build files, checks your pom.xml, downloads any dependencies you don't already have, compiles your source code, runs the test, and creates a target folder with a ready-to-run jar file. Now imagine doing that by hand, downloading libraries manually, writing custom scripts to compile, another one to run test, and a third to create a jar. It's error-prone and time-consuming. With Maven, it's all automated and you can share your project with anyone. As long as they have Maven installed, they can build and run it the exact same way, no surprises. One of the most powerful features of Maven is its dependency management. When you add a library to your pom.xml, Maven doesn't just fetch that one jar, it also looks at what that library depends on and downloads those too. This is called transitive dependency resolution. So if your project needs Spring Web, and Spring Web needs Jackson and Celeb4j, Maven pulls all of that for you, and it caches those libraries locally, so you are not redownloading them every time. It also makes sure your project is using compatible versions. If you need to upgrade something, you just change one version number in the POM. No more hunting down jar files or updating class paths manually. So to sum it up, Maven is like your project's assistant. It keeps track of your libraries builds your code, runs your tests, and packages everything so you can focus on writing features, not managing build chaos. Whether you are building a small command line app or a large enterprise system, Maven brings consistency, automation, and structure to your Java workflow. If this helped you understand Maven more clearly, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for more hands-on Java content. Until next time, keep learning and keep building.